Do you get sick of formatting spreadsheets? Well, Google Sheets has now got tables. Let's have a look. First, we'll create a new sheet, sheet.new in your browser. We'll take you straight there. So let's go over here and we can start with some pre-built tables. So you can see that each of these tables, so this one is for events or for tasks. And so as you can see, if you just click on, you know, hover over, over it and then click on insert. And then you've got all of these options here. My task is not started or it's in progress or it's blocked or waiting for somebody or it's completed. And if you want to edit it, you want to add some new options, then you can easily do that. Add another item and I'm going to say it's, uh, add another item is going to be saying, uh, we'll just say uh, waiting. Okay, we'll do that in a different color. Okay, waiting. And so that just gives us an option there, click done. And now I've got that as an option as well, waiting. Now, if you don't see your tables, just go into help here, search the menus, and we're going to search for tables. Click on there. And there we go, we've got our featured tables here. We could change it to project tasks. See, there we go, or content tracker. So if you want to keep track of how much you are watching or maybe creating, how much content you are creating, you can do that as well. There's all kinds of tables. You can change the format as well. Event planning, guest lists. That would be a great thing if you're planning a big event and you want to keep track of who is coming or not. You've got project management in here, which is something that I'm very, very interested in. And as you can see, it's got uh, take on this uh, project tasks here and it's got dates here uh, that date format the start date the end date and what milestones you've got all of these different options you can play with the colors as well office hours I'm going to click on insert here that's a, a very popular one for if you are a college professor or teacher or tutor you can open up hours and allow people just to come and ask you questions within to book a slot to come and see you every every week and ask you whatever. There's travel planners here. You've got a whole lot of other stuff in there. Team planner is probably a pretty uh, popular one as well. And you can see it's already got the formatting of the dates of the months and so on. So really, really valuable here. So this is all to do with tables. And if you have got your own table. Look at all of these ones that I've created, sheet one, sheet two. Of course, you can always rename those if you want. So this is the event tasks. Events, there we go. And you can rename those tables. You can insert, insert your own table too. And if you want to do that, you, you can type that in. You can put in your own headings. Let's say I've got a book list. As you do that, you can convert that to a table as well. And the way to do that, you just go format, convert to table. And there we go. As soon as you click on that, gives you a nice fancy coloring and formatting so you don't have to waste any of your time doing all of that sort of uh, fun stuff of formatting things and so on. So you can see that we've got all of these tables here. How quick was that to create them all? So you want to have a look at ta tables in Google Sheets, completely free. And you can just go in to help and tables, or you can go into format there and convert to table if, uh, if it's not already in a table format.